So what are we doing? Taking the money to blood good? Yeah, the money that we raised from that. Uh, the extortion thing. money. Yeah, the extortion money. So who do you think we extorted? Uh, well, it certainly wasn't Spectra, since she seems like she wants to take all the money. I think we extorted monster children. That makes sense. Come in, my ghoul. I was expecting you. Abby said that you'd be stopping by to drop off the council fundraising money. So how have you found your first week here at Monster High? Should I say kind of strange? I, th I think we should say it's great. That's so good to hear, my dear. It's great to see a new student taking to the school like a baby kraken swimming in the deep blue sea. It makes me all warm and toasty inside, just like the sands of the Sahara. Oh, yes, the money for the improvements to the creepateria. The students will love that huge flat screen TV. Thank you so much for that. I shall ring through that order for the pyramid, uh, I mean, TV, immediately. It should all be sorted by tomorrow. Wait, is she possessed too? Maybe. Oh. What do you mean, pyramid? Maybe she's running a pyramid scheme. Can you look on the wall one more time real quick? Yeah. Who are these people? I don't know, probably like old teachers That's or something. That's a creepy picture right there on your left. This girl is hot though. That's true. She looks pretty good. She kind of looks like Wednesday Adams. Yeah, or like Mavis from Hotel Transylvania. Why do you think everybody has like a... No, I'm not trying to be weird about this. I know in the show she's like a minor or whatever, but I, I've noticed that since Wednesday Adams has come back, um, you know, with her show, it seems like a lot of people online have had their alt girl slash goth girl slash emo girl awakening fetish awakening. Yeah. What do you think's up with that? Like, have you noticed that? I think it's because the girl who plays her is really hot. Jenna Ortega. Yeah, and I think they realize, oh, Jenna Ortega is not only really hot when she looks normal, but also extremely hot when she looks goth. Wait, wait, wait! Don't go in there yet. Check your phone. We got stuff. I gotta remember how it went. We got 500 messages. That's okay. You just press every button. Press every button. Oh, I didn't even know we could do that. I didn't know we could do Try that the either. Back, the select. Oh, we That's got it. That it. down there. So the creepy got upgraded. How is this the first time hearing about this? Because you don't pay attention to the newspaper. Point taken. You're welcome for the upgrades and Heath and Slow Mo. You're welcome for the story. I don't remember saying thank you. What the heck? That was mean. Yeah. Breaking news, Monster High Creepateria upgrade, 4K TV included. I'm yeah. shocked they had a 4K TV at the time that this came out because yeah. this was quite a while ago. Yeah, I'm actually pretty shocked too. Freaky fab, I can't wait for lunch today. Hey Twyla, I'm thinking we need to find a creepy cool new spot to sit at lunch. Only if they play Ever After High on the new TV because everybody's obsessed with that show for some reason. The new chairs in the cafeteria were my suggestion. Okay. How long did Ever After High last? Wasn't it just a couple of years? Yeah, it wasn't very long. Not nearly as iconic as this. And it never came back, right? No. It was never rebooted or whatever? No. Oh, do you want, do you want to go to the Enviro Club so that we don't miss that? Yeah, that's why I selected it. Okay. okay. So, okay, so we have to go... The music changed because you picked the second objective. Wait, look, <laughs> at, look, look at the arrow. Yeah, just walk one direction and see what happens. Weird. I think it was trying to figure out which way you were going to go to Environment Club or whatever. That's really weird. Hi, Kaismo. Hey, little kitty Mr. boy. Come Kaismo. up. Come up, little boy. Hi. Aw, what a baby. Hello. He loves Monster High time. Hello. He's such a good little boy. He's very nice. He wants to go to his mom, though. He just comes to say hi to me, and then he goes to sit with you. He loves me. I he love He just you. makes sure that I'm still okay. He's like, Are you, oh, oh, okay. Oh, you want to go near the microphone? What's that? He just comes up. He says, is dad still alive? Does dad still smell bad? I hope the microphone can pick up him breathing, because I think that'd be funny. Is he purring? I don't know. Hi, buddy. You okay? He's like standing right next to it. He's right in front of it. He's such now a funny boy. It'd be like him to knock it over for some reason, and we'd have to fix the whole audio thing again. He wouldn't need a reason to do it. Yeah, that's true. Well, tell him about what he did the other day. No, you tell them. Why? Because it makes me upset. Hey, did you ever notice that, look, the, the trays are the shape of coffins, too. Oh, that's fun. Uh, he climbed up behind the TV and knocked down half of the shelf of Jill's Rainbow High uh, dolls. Yep. I was going to say figurines. I don't know why. Yeah, it made me really mad because he, for some reason, has a vendetta against 
the $80 Chinese New Year collector's doll. Ah, the thing we bought when we had money. Good times, good times. Yeah, he hates that one. He hates the um, Shadow High girls especially. And he hates the rock girl so much that we had to bring the rock girl downstairs so he wouldn't knock her over. And then one time he got downstairs and knocked her over immediately when he saw her. I have a, a standing theory that he thinks they're mini humans that he can bully because we bully him. But I have been telling him ever since he was a tiny little kitten that he shouldn't touch my dolls and he doesn't care. No, he doesn't. Aurora Drake, you're here. Let's get started. Venus, we need to talk. Well, we found out about your chat with Rockle. Rockle? My chat! Oh, wait, this is you. My chat! I'm not sure what you're talking about! Aurora Drake saw you using your pollen on Rochelle. We know everything, ghoul. Cosmo down. Okay, I did, but I had a very good reason. Rochelle wasn't seeing the bigger picture here. It doesn't matter. You can't use your pollen on other monsters. It's not like I did anything bad. I just swapped the story she was writing for the paper with the one that I wrote. You could get Rochelle into a lot of trouble with the newspaper club. Cosmo, get down. You need to fix this. Come here, buddy. Why is he being bad? I don't know. Cosmo! Cosmo, come here. Come here. As long as he doesn't step on anything, I don't care. But how? You can march in there, look them in the eye, and tell them exactly what happened. Yeah, you don't get in trouble. That's true. You know, I was thinking, by the way, also, first of all, you see that Cyclops girl? She has eyeballs on her shoes. Well, that's actually kind of a neat design, I guess. A little heavy-handed, but... Sec second of all, I kind of wish you could change your makeup in this game and that they had, like, makeup makeovers and stuff like that. So that's this, like, so fashionable. That would be really cool. I was, I'm watching him with caution that he's not going to click the escape button and shut off the recording. Oh, Cosmo. Iris is right, Venus. You just made a mistake. It's not a big deal. Just go in there and talk to them. You know the monsters at the school always appreciate honesty. Yeah, but not hypnotizing people. That's true. Isn't that illegal? Uh, probably. You're right, but I don't want to go alone. I need a strong wing ghoul to meet me in the study howl and help me through it. Aurora Drake, it'd be a lot easier to face this with you by my side. Meet me there when you get the chance. Why, you barely know me. I don't know. I, I think she should have picked one of her friends. So, by the way, I really like... Um, is We're the ones who ratted on her. Venus is gone, but oh, are they going to talk about her at all, or do they just have vanilla dialogue? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. I assume vanilla dialogue. Oh, she saw the planet Venus last night. <laughs> I just love stargazing, she said. Must be easy, because she can look in the uh, in the thing with just her one eye. That's true. The telescope. I grew up in the jungle. So far, I have to say that school is not that different. Do you like Boo Little? Uh, I never really thought her character looked anything like the Boogeyman, and I never really understood the pun on her name. I don't know. Because she's supposed to be the daughter of the Boogeyman. I just kind of thought they just threw her in there and made her look however they wanted and then thought, oh, let's just say she's from the Boogeyman. I don't think she ever really looked scary. I feel that way about Gilda Goldstag. I think Gilda Goldstag's really badly created. She just looks bad. Yeah, she looks like an OC. Yeah, she's... I feel bad if that's someone's favorite, so sorry, I guess, if it is. But she kind of looks like an OC to me. I just really don't like her design at all. Our I think character... she's ugly. No, 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 go back and stand next to her for just a second. Our character, to me... Looks less like an OC than her character. That's true. And ours That's is sad. an OC. We made her up. Yeah, our character looks more like a main character. Yeah, or like an official creation. Yeah. I actually really think that they were sitting on a gold mine with this. And then they never uh, did anything with G1 ever again? Yeah, but also, like, my idea too, this game, imagine this, right? But you have it online, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I genuinely think this would be a huge money maker. Uh, be sure to get the, the coins here. Mm. Online, and you have it basically like, uh, what's that one game? Um, like Free Realms or like RuneScape or whatever. And you basically have it... Uh, like an like, MMO. Like an MMO where you go to classes, you hang out with people and you do activities, you play mini games. So you you're can... saying kind of like a Hogwarts Legacy except online. 
but with Monster High. And the reason I say online is not because I want that, it's because like that was a game style really popular at the time this was popular. I would have blamed and, the shit out of it. And I think they could have made a ton of money because like, imagine if you had things like, you know, outfits, like outfit packs for a dollar or two. Mm -hmm. I mean, like the, it's insane to me Mattel was sitting on such a gold mine they didn't They probably it. would have shut it down by now though, which makes me really sad. Probably, but still. Grown. Hello, Venus. How can the newspaper club help you today? I have another confession to make. I used my pollen to persuade Rochelle to print my version of a story in the paper. It was a song. Oh my. Ah, bon? I do not know what you are talking about, Venus. The pollen can have an effect on your memory, Rochelle. It will come back to you in a couple of days. I'm so sorry. I got so passionate that I just... Uh, basically date R word in you. I'm sorry. Oh, why? <laughs> Thank you for telling us, Venus. It takes a strong ghoul to admit when she's done something wrong. Why is nobody mad? We. Oui, that's just very big of you, ghoul. But please do not use that pollen on me again. I would like to keep my memories right where they are. I actually think um, Rochelle has a great design. I really love Rochelle. She's one of my favorite characters. You can count on it, Ghoul. I've definitely learned my lesson. My friends helped me to see that using my powers on other monsters is wrong. They sound like good friends. Yeah, the ones that ratted on you? Yeah, they're the best. I really should go and tell them that. Yeah. That <laughs> was kind of lame. I think Venus has a great design, and I think that Rochelle has a great design for characters that are not, like, the main, you know, four or five. Yeah, a lot of the characters are really well done, and then at some point it kind of seemed like they just lacked creativity after a while. You know what's weird about that, though? I disagree, and I agree, because you're right, but then what's weird is the final wave of the G1 dolls, like the were new- Were incredible. The new students. Yeah, they were yeah. incredible, and it makes me so mad that they didn't continue with that, because they had- Shut down the brand, pretty much. Thanks, Aurora Drake, and actually thanks to all of you. You helped me instead of pushing me away, and I really appreciate it. Also, I love that hairstyle she has, where it's, like, swooped and you have, like, shaved on one side and long on the other. Yeah, it's cool. And did you learn your lesson? Yes, no pollen on other monsters, period. See, look at her. Does she have anything to do with the boogeyman to you? I think she's cute, but no. Yeah, you can't tell, right? She just kind of looks like Spectra's sister. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. It's like hard to tell what kind of monster she's even supposed to be. I agree. As for this plant, it looks like... Oh, it looks to be somewhat docile. I'd say it's pretty harmless. So, it can stay? Yeah, it can stay. For now. Until it eats a student. Spooktacular! Yeah, it probably will eat a student. That's really funny. Hey! Yay, we got an achievement! Wait, wait, talk to them. Did they say anything else? I don't know. I want to get my coins. These are more important. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. They never say anything else anyway. Well, I liked the world building. Are you following me? What? We were just talking to you. This world is the only one we have. Surely you understand that. Okay, surely. Someone told me that my eye coffin was waterproof. Okay, so they're not saying anything. Let's just leave. The Creepateria is scary. Thanks, great. 10 out of 10, great dialogue. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting. My problem is Claudine and Howline look absolutely terrible in G3 for the most part. They haven't gotten any good dolls yet. All right, I have something to say. What? I feel like they look... Oh, wait, you missed your thing. I know. I feel like they look a little bit like a stereotype of what black nerdy girls look like. Whereas in this game, or in, in this generation, mm -hmm. I don't think they did. Yeah, they and, didn't look like a stereotype. They look unique. And everybody always shits on stuff, like, from this gen with, like, the accents and stuff. They're like, they were kind of racist. They no, were they ridiculous. Weren't. Fine, they were exaggerated. It was a cartoon. But I never felt like anything was, like, racist for the most part, openly. I'm it was sure... also supposed to be, like, bringing together different cultures. I'm sure there's a few jokes or things throughout it that come off a little racist. Like, I do think there was supposed to be some Native American lore monster at some point or something like that. Because some people take well of that stuff, some people don't. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it depends on how you do it. But, like... I've noticed it's always the people group that is a part of the thing that's being made. They they never say anything, but the the white people who think it's offensive to that people group say something. I would say a few people in those people groups say something, but it's majorly uh, 
unemployed white people. That's true. Yes, yeah. who like don't really have anything going on, and they mm -hmm. want to feel like they're impacting something. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, and instead of like going and volunteering at like a soup kitchen or like giving money to something, it's they like, just yell at people on the internet. It's easier to get mad online. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, to be fair, we talk online, but I like to think that most of our takes are are mostly tempered and not fueled by anger. Mm -hmm. Most, mm -hmm. not all. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that G1 gets a lot of crap, at least that I've seen that now, and that it never got in the past. Uh -huh. There's some stuff on the bleachers again. Like, Just because people want to defend G3, even though G3... Well, that's I, fine. G3 has cool stuff, but you don't it, need to take down G1 to do that. Yeah, and my problem with G3 is it's very much so... Uh, watered down Monster High to make it more palatable to kids. Yeah, although a lot of the dolls aren't, but like the, the show and the movie, like those live action movies, did mm -hmm. I tell you they're making a second one? I know. I don't uh, want to talk about it. It makes me so annoyed. It must have done well. It, they're basically making a high school musical at this point. Or Enchanted or whatever. Yeah. Or, no, what was it called? The, the Descendants. Oh, yeah. That was awful. Oh, the newbie finally decided to grace us with her presence. Think you're too good for practice, are you? Got time to waste on other school activities like the council. Don't think I don't know that you spend more time there than you do here. Turn up to fear leading practice late again and I'll throw you off the team. We weren't even late. She's been like this all day. There's no escaping her. No talking. If you can fear lead and talk at the same time, you're not doing it hard enough. Come on, ghouls, step it up. We can't afford to be sloppy. And you, that's poor form. Lift those arms up high, higher. That's it, feel the burn. Yes! Yes! That's it! Pure perfection! Wait! Where's my amulet? Oh! I've dropped it! What the heck was that? What? That's not even Gulia's voice! Was that a dude? That sounded like a dude! Was that a guy? That was not Gulia's voice actress! Sometimes that's what I hear, uh, you know, from tea coming out of the bathroom. Oh. Yeah. Oh, why? Yeah. Here you go, Cleo. You dropped your amule. What do you think you're doing? No! That's mine! Get away from me! Only Egyptian royalty may touch the amulet. How dare you put those grubby zombie mitts on my birthday present! Why did they make her sound like that? I don't know. But it she's... sounds so inappropriate. It does. She looks cute, though, here. She has always looked cute, but usually she sounds like, uh... Yeah, that's and true. today she's like, oh! Uh. <laughs> but like a man. It's like, <laughs> oh! It sounds like that! <laughs> Ew! They're like, we don't have a voice actor. Ah, the, ask the janitor to come Ask in. the janitor! They couldn't get the normal Ghoulia voice actor, so they got, like, some random dude off the street, and he's and like, Ooh. No, they couldn't get him to do the right thing, so they're like, Patricia, you're gonna have to just reach under the table and take one for the team. Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know why I even bother. Considering all the brain puffs you eat, you'd think you'd be a bit smarter than that. I guess not! What a dick. Yeah, Cleo's being a douche. What? Does anyone have something to say? That's too much. Even for you, Cleo. And all over your silly amulet. That is harsh. The poor ghoul didn't know what hit her. Gulia is your friend. We all are. And you've been acting so mean lately. Is this fair leading competition really that important? Also, when she said, if you can't talk, if you can talk and fear lead, you're not doing it hard enough. But aren't you supposed to chant while you're fear leading? Uh-oh, uh... What's going on? Why is everyone looking at me like that? Where's Gulia gone? What the heck? You upset her and she ran off crying. But I, I, I didn't. Uh, I, I don't remember that.
trust us, Cleo. You did. We all saw you lose it. Oh, no. What have I done? I've got to find her. No. I think you better take it easy, Cleo. Hey, newbie, can you go after her? Sure. I don't know why I'd say I hardly know her when wait, wait. they did the entire comic book club together. Let's talk to him. I wish more umbrella oh. styles would come with UV protection. Okay, never mind. Did you know where cats can see in the dark? This is very silly that they have nothing to say about this. The latest edition of Teen Scream magazine says that to stand out, you should always wear a smile on your face. That's sad that that's standing out. I need those shoes. They're absolutely fabulous. We're wearing the same shoes! Ah! Uh, I don't think you'd want to do fear or cheerleading in high heels, would you? Do girls do that? No, at least not usually. I don't think it's considered unsafe, but Monster High is built different. Are you not going to read that stuff? Oh, was it important? Yeah, it was about Cleo. Oh. I don't know why I skipped past it. Cleo's gone too far this time. Bullying fellow students is not O dot K dot. Be scareful, Claudine. What Cleo did was totally wrong, but calling it bullying? I'm with you, Frankie. Cleo shouldn't have treated Gulia that way, but it wasn't bullying. It kind of was. Why are we ganging up on Claudine? This is racist. It kind of was. Yeah, every time we disagree with someone not our same skin tone, it's racist. Wow. Well, that's what Twitter told me. Yeah, you basically would fit right in there. That's what Twitter told me. I was just going by logic that I learned. Well, that's strong words to call Twitter uh, and associate it with logic. <laughs> Unless it's just the rapper and he's tweeting a new song or something. That makes sense. Sense. By the way, Logic, pretty good rapper. I've never heard him. Oh, you should. He's the one who wrote the uh, suicide prevention song. I only listen to Christian rap. Oh, that makes sense. Like uh, like Eminem and Kanye. Yeah, yeah. Right, got it. <laughs> I love uh, when they talk about God and uh, having sex has, with Rihanna. Kanye does have a, uh, a Christian album. Yeah, but it's not good. It was actually kind of good, but he, he sure blew his reputation now. 